The Biopsy Playhouse has been rated TVPG. Parental guidance suggested. Thank the Lord for this blessed day. I agree. Adonai be praised. Let's just leave it as it's just a nice day. So, uh, who brought the food? I didn't bring the food. Not me. I'll get it. Did you bring the beer? No. Yeah, I'll go get it. Where's the bait? Hey, did you guys get the bait? What? Okay, I'm coming ashore. Perhaps we should have told him about the stones. <laughs> <laughs> I was on Star Trek and Kirk was there and it was it was crazy man. I, I don't even know what was Was I really on Star Trek? What does this do? Irving, well, what did you do to me? What did you do to me? I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna kill you! I'm gonna kill you! Hello, what can I do for you? Listen up, Cupcake. I made a tell you about the book of Jesus Christ of <laughs> Latter-day Saints, right here. No thank you, I'm not interested. Maybe I was a little soft in my approach. My partner here, he's a big softy, you know, capiche? So either you get some Jesus in your head, or I put a <laughs> bullet in your head. Capiche? Alright, so Jesus and his Apollonius. You mean apostles? Whatever. Yeah, some nice shoes you got there. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Jesus Christ, you see, he was the first <laughs> dawn, you know? Hey! Yeah. Uh, no thanks. Oh, please! Please don't hurt me! I have a family, please! Looks like we're gonna have to do this the hard way. <laughs> What's that? You want two Bibles? Yeah. I'm generous. <laughs> you wanna make a donation, too? <laughs> Buy some. Wow, it looks like W's on a blow again? Yeah, we've been developing uh, this stuff with the uh, MIB section uh, for years. It looks like we finally found an idiot who's uh, dumb enough to try it. Uncle Dick, Uncle Dick, look at me. I'm flying. I'm Super W. Oh, for God's sakes, W. Get down here and stop playing around and take your nap. You can do more lines play around later after we've had our meeting with the Joint Chiefs of Staff about our progress. 
for our lack of progress in Iraq. Aw, oh, come on, Uncle Dick. I'm a superhero. I can fly to that Iraq and with my super sight find the weapons of mass detection and prove to the world the evil that lays in the desert. Now, W, get down off the ceiling. It's time for your new nap. W, away! Call Norat. Tell him we've got an unidentified flying idiot on our hands. Yes, sir. Where is my shotgun? W, away! Boy, I'm sure glad we bought the super memory foam mattress. Yeah, it's so comfortable. I feel like I'm floating on a marshmallow. You want to take it for a real test drive? Well, okay then. Oh God, Benny, we only have a half an hour before my wife gets home. Let's hurry. Oh! Hi there. What was that? What was what? That's odd. I can swear I heard something. Hi there. I'm your new super memory foam mattress. Ah! Oh, don't be frightened. I just wanted to check and see which settings you wanted. But you're a talking mattress? Yes, I'm super memory foam. I remember your sleeping comfort level and I communicate with you about it. Wow, okay, well. So, I just wanted to ask, would you like me to set your comfort level like you had it last night or this afternoon? This afternoon? What? Um, yeah, I took a nap earlier. Uh, no, bad. just set it up like we had it last night. But this afternoon there were two people, and one of them had a very different... No, bad. you are mistaken! You bastard! Would somebody please clean me? That was really something. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, but I like what we're watching. I hate that <laughs> show. Okay, welcome to this meeting of Alcoholics Unanimous. Let's review the 12 steps. One, we admitted we were powerless over alcohol, so why resist? Two, we came to believe that a power greater than ourselves could restore us to sanity, and of course that power is alcohol. Three, we made a decision to turn our lives and our wills over to the power and the control of Captain Morgan and Johnny Walker. Five, we made a s what number am I on? Four. We made a searching and fearless inventory of our liquor cabinets, found them empty, and filled them accordingly. Number five. We bid it to God, to ourselves, and to our bartenders, the exact nature of our favorite beverages. Six. We were ready to have alcohol remove all of the unnecessary cells from our livers, and memories from our brains. Seven. I don't remember what seven is. Shut up, I don't need you. Hey, I have a story. Um, the other night I was chasing this Bowser guy and I was going through a bunch of pipes and he killed me like 17 times. And I was trying to rescue some princess. I don't know, man. Back up off me. I was in some green tubes and stuff. That's all I remember. Shut up. You're stupid. You're all stupid. I got real problems. I locked my keys in my car and then my car fell into the lake. By the way, where is your kid? <laughs> oh, it's okay. He's trapped in the car seat. Man, I don't know what came over me. It's like I fell off or on the wagon. I was sober, man. It was like the lack of memories. I mean, the glamour, I visualized it. Uh, I had a steady pay. I remembered stuff. I had a lack of blackouts. I just don't know what came over me. It was just, wow, I, I don't know. Okay, it looks like we need an intervention. Man, 
We're here because we love you. We love you, man. Don't let that sobriety monster get you. It's a lie. Remember what Captain Morgan said. He said, Yarg! Oh, man. man, you're right. Give me a drink. Yeah. Okay, well, I think that's enough. Um, I'm gonna go puke. Remember, stay drunk. As you know, England has recently decriminalized marijuana. You've had two weeks to start Operation New Leaf. What have you got to show me? We have been working very closely with Chemical Additive Research Corporation. We have a variety of flavors, mint and cinnamon burst being the most popular. And as a plus, we've made them very highly addictive. Excellent. Excellent. I assume the advertising and distribution networks are ready to go? You bet, man. You bet. Just say the word, Chief. We'll be all over it in 48 hours. And we got Keith Richards sitting ready to sign the contract for the billboards. It's like a dream come true. I wish Grandfather were alive to see this. Damn emphysema. What about land? We've got to, uh, you know, control growth to ensure the quality. You guys got any ideas? Since we want to maximize profits, we feel that we should invest in offshore labor and resources. With that in mind, the tape should explain it all. Gentlemen, please view the monitor. Hola, Americanos. I am Generalissimo Rodrigo X. I have the finest facilities in all of Central and South America. I have the finest product in the world. Just ask the Medellin brothers. If you can find them, <laughs> But seriously, gringos, millions of satisfied addicts, I mean, customers agree. Are you worried about labor problems? No problemo, gringo. <laughs> Our workers are completely satisfied. We give them free samples. Who wouldn't be satisfied? <laughs> so, Americanos, you want to grow your business? Then call me, Generalissimo Rodrigo X at Uno. 555 Grow Pot. That's Uno 555 Grow Pot. And as for me, Uncle X. <laughs> Uncle X. <laughs> Uncle X. <laughs> Miss Jones, get the general on the horn immediately. I think this is going to be the beginning of a beautiful. Don't say that. You want to get sued? Welcome back to Your Hour. I'm here with Flip Sterling and Greg Hirschuk. Did I say that right? Close. Yeah. Close? Close. Say hi. Hirschuk. Hirschuk. Okay. Uh, these two gentlemen are here, here from Tulsa, Oklahoma, and you have a show called Biopsy Playhouse. Correct. Tell me about it. Biopsy Playhouse is a twisted, off-the-wall comedy. Uh, half an hour of uh, sketch comedy. Uh, we... Um, Spoof television commercials. We do political satire. Uh, what do you say, Greg? Uh, I think that we just take it like a blender and take all the bits of society and just mix it up like a frappuccino there you or go. a mocha cappuccino and just mix it all up <laughs> and just dish it say? out. Exactly. Well, it kind of, you know, um, you kind of force people to look at the humorous side of a situation. Exactly. Uh, yes. We make fun. Well, actually, we say what people really want to say, but are really afraid to say. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we get away with it. Yeah. <laughs> On television, though. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Well, and, and I think people really enjoy that kind of humor. Uh, it's like... Um, it's like when we watch uh, the, the, the Tonight Show or the, the evening talk shows. They take the things that are happening in the political uh, arena and they make... Well, they make jokes out of them. Actually, a lot of the things that happen in the politi political arena are already funny. But they, but they <laughs> can't point, make this stuff. I know. Yeah. 
<laughs> this is going to be a very funny political year, and depending on who makes it into the presidency, it can be hysterical to, you know, tragic, but <laughs> I guess that's America. Well, it is. Um, what are some, do you have, you have characters that you do? Yes, we do. Um, but there's a lot of characters, like uh, General Isamo, uh, the Phil plays, and Pedro is his assistant. Uh, we have Drool Boy. Drool Boy, yeah, oh, he's yeah. very popular. Uh, yeah, very popular. <laughs> yeah. Um, and there's a variety. We're just coming up with two characters and new shows. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it's always yes. expanding and growing. And, um, for this season, we have an all-new cast, which is all-new possibilities. And, of course, the, you know, Greg and I throw our characters in, and, and it just mixes it up into a big mishmash. Very little of what you do is scripted, right? Well, actually, no. A lot of it is scripted. Not that we keep to the script. Right, because okay. sometimes things come up and they're really funny, and you uh -huh. throw them in, and then, wow, that worked. Uh -huh. Yeah. You know, and uh, that's with comedy, you have to be fluid, and also you have to be willing to, uh, you know, to make a, a blank of yourself. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, in front of the audience. Well, sure. Um, and to me, that's what makes uh, the people that go into comedy and, and, and do things, I think they're very brave because they're really, they're really putting their whole personality on the line. Dying is easy. <laughs> comedy is very hard. <laughs> that's what I've understood. Yeah. Um, well, welcome back. Joining me now is Drool Boy, and uh, he's here from uh, Biopsy Playhouse. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, very nice to meet you. Well, it's nice to meet you, too, but that's all right. I, I don't have to shake your hand. Uh, what's wrong? Uh, <laughs> better than what? <laughs> well, um, I'm just getting over a cold. I don't think you want to get my germs, so. Okay, Cheryl. <laughs> Would you be my drool of mine? <laughs> get a reasonable. Get a reasonable. Where are you? Get a reasonable. Get an Isimo! Who are you? Get out! This is me, bro! Get her out! Where are you? Where are you? Hello, Pedro. Hello. Hola, senorita. <laughs> so tell me, tell me. Uh, have you seen the general, General Isimo? General X? I don't think so. No? Hmm, I, I have to see him. I'm, I'm going late, late to work. I, I have to see him so, so we can make some soup. Excremente soup. Oh, very good, yes. He, he makes the best uh, soup and uh, uh, excremente beer in the world. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Excremente. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, have you ever watched the show, The Biopsy uh, uh, Playhouse? Where does it come on? Well, it's on KC2U Friday after uh, 1 o'clock after uh, my hour. Or is it your hour? Your hour. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought it was my hour. I don't know. Well, it just, just depends on who you ask. Exactly, yes. yes. <laughs> well, thanks everyone for watching your hour today. Be sure to tune in at noon tomorrow. Adios, muchachos, chinitas, adios. Boy, I'm starving. I've heard this place is good. I've never had Mexican pizza before. This should be interesting. Let's see. Pero carne pizza? Gato Supremo? Sir, what do you recommend? Ah, senor! I've got what you need right here! Ha ha ha! It's Pedro! Uno mete cano sliceo! Por favor! Ha ha ha! Sliceo! Ha ha! Coming right down, I mean up! Generally, it's the boat! Is your food fresh? Senor! We only use the freshest ingredients. Fresh! <laughs> Ooh. Here's your pizza, senor! <laughs> oh my, what the hell is this crap? Excremente Pio! Senor, everyone from the towns to the villages to the cities, they all say the same thing! What is this crap? <laughs> <laughs> Excremente Pio! A robust and pungent flavor, but somehow familiar. <laughs> Excremente Pio! Crossing the border soon for you. Yes, Liz? Alright, send him on in. Hello. Hello, Ben. 
please have a seat. Listen, I'm not going to beat around the bush. I have certain needs that need to be fulfilled and, uh, well, that's why I placed the ad. Well, you see, I too am a man and I think I know how to make you appreciate my work. If you know what I mean. <clears throat> I'm not quite sure. Well, what I'm saying is, I've done this a time or two. I've never had a complaint. Really? Really. Well, I'd like to see what you got. Yes, sir. Ooh. Damn. That, that was good. That was, that was damn good. You can get up now. So how much do you want for your, uh, services? 20 will do. Well, here's, uh, 40. I'll definitely be giving you a call soon. Well, thank you, sir. This has got to be the best damn shoe shine I have ever had. So what floor are you headed to? The sixth floor, please. We work on that floor. Are you applying for a job? Yeah, I'm applying for the PR position. We used to work that position. Hey, it looks like somebody <laughs> on the wall. What? Really? No, nope, it's nobody from our floor. No, no one from our floor. What? No!